A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. After they had gone away, a demoniac who was mute was brought to Jesus. And when the demon had been cast out, the one who had been mute spoke. And the crowds were amazed and said, Never has anything like this been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, By the ruler of the demons he casts out the demons. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing every disease and every sickness. And when he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Well, we have none other than <clears throat> Jesus himself, God incarnate, recognizing the limits of his capacity in terms of offering um, the gospel, offering the good news, offering material, physical help and healing and health and wholeness. Jesus has a compassionate heart. He sees those in need and he's moved with compassion. And he moves to do what he can, but he says to his disciples, there's a lot to be done here. But there aren't enough hands. There aren't enough hands to the plow. There aren't enough, there aren't enough people working to go out into this field. So he says to the disciples an interesting thing. He says, pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Pray to God for God to send more people to do this work of the kingdom. Just an interesting thing for us to focus on for just a minute to, to understand that when you and I, and certainly I think I hear this from a number of people, I experience it myself, when there's that danger of compassion fatigue, there's so much going on around us in need of our attention, so much going on around us that we can plainly see folks that need our compassion and our our solidarity, our encouragement, our physical help. We can be moved like Jesus and we can also, like Jesus, recognize the limits of what we as individuals can do and even we as a church can do. And we can do what Jesus suggests in this case, which is ask God to send more people, more hands to help, more hearts to help. Ask God to send more workers into this harvest. Ask God to send more people to join with us in the project of drawing near to God. Um, for us, it's not only about what we do in compassionate work, but it's also drawing us closer to the heart of God, drawing us more fully into our identity as children of the living God, as bearers of God's grace and power and hope and mercy in this world. And it's important as we find ourselves drawn ever more deeply into this life and something about being in it attunes us more and more to the needs of the people around us, right? So we find ourselves more and more in tune with the needs of the world. We find ourselves moved with compassion as Jesus was. And then we find ourselves as Jesus did, looking and saying, this is good work to do. I'm not enough. I'm not up to the task. We need more people. We need more people who are involved in this work of reaching out with compassion and love. It's interesting that at St. James, sometimes the people who help with that compassionate work are not necessarily people who are drawing close to God in the way that maybe you or I might be drawing close to God in Christian community. We have neighbors at St. James whose only connection with us is when they sign up and come and help extend that hand of compassion that in helping with our meals ministry, helping with our Summer in the City program. There are folks who feel that sense of compassion and wanting to be helpful and working hands in this field of compassion, wanting to be part of the work of the gospel, whether they see themselves as part of the St. James community or not. And so in that sense, we can continue to give thanks for the way that God is sending 
uh, more people, more workers, more hands, more help, more hearts to um, help in the work that we attempt to do at St. James. And it's not only the work of reaching out to neighbors and being compassionate in those material ways, but it's also about the compassion of seeing that people are hurting People desire connection with one another. People desire connection with God, whether they can name it that way right now or not. Seeing that people drawn into our into our beautiful sanctuary as they're walking by, drawn, coming in, pausing, and, and feeling a sense of God's presence with them that moment. We are always being asked to help draw others in and to welcome them into the work that we share in common with Jesus, the path, the path that Jesus has laid out for us, and indeed the life of the risen Christ in which we participate now. So may God be with you this day, and as we pray for God to send more people, more, more souls and hands and hearts to help in the work of the kingdom, may God grant that, and may we welcome them with open arms and find ourselves strengthened by our companions in this work. And I hope that you know that God always hold you in his heart, and God blesses and keeps you this day and always. Amen.